I have good days. I have bad days. I'm only going to have my bad days in a boxing chair because I'm an under the lights type fighter. Because when I go under the lights, no matter how I win, I win. This guy's a strategist. This guy knows how to calculate his punches. He knows how to throw combinations enough to win the round. That's the part of the whole strategy that you have to kind of get over. Everything that I have accomplished is God who gave me the strength. What Pacquiao has done is, is just something that uh, we might never see again. and uh, that, that makes him one of the best of all time. Manny Pacquiao is a fighter who is relentless, we know. He's gonna go in, he's gonna try and attack. He would throw punches and punches and bunches, and he was landing everything. I think the matchup is great. You got the you got a counter puncher Going against aggressive. an aggressor. Yeah. So something has to give. This is a great matchup in that sense. You'll be hard pressed to find any boxing star who was bigger than Floyd Mayweather Jr. or Manny Pacquiao when they were in their primes. They each had an insane fan following and made millions of dollars for each fight. However, the two men led completely different lives and careers, despite sharing very similar success in the boxing ring. Mayweather and Pacquiao were polar opposites. They employed two vastly different fighting styles. One was an offensive monster with bolted lightning in both fists and an aggressive whirlwind style that proved too much to handle for his opponents. The other was a defensive genius who was next to impossible to hit clean with an unparalleled understanding of the sweet science. They also shared vastly polarized fan bases. One man was well loved by a nation of millions. Every time I fight, the entire country is in a standstill. You can see anybody on the street. Everybody is in their home watching and waiting for the fight of Manny Pacquiao. That's how it is when Manny fight. While the other was a man appreciated for his technical ability in the ring, and not particularly for the way he carried himself outside of it. patronage lies, there's no denying that Mayweather and Pacquiao basically carried the sport of boxing for the past two decades. At one point, Mayweather and Pacquiao were 1A and 1B in terms of greatness. They were once the two best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and luckily for fans, they did eventually meet in the squared circle to put each other to the test. Both of your world champions. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep this fight clean at all times, show good sportsmanship, protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up, God bless. It ended up being the richest fight in history. While both Mayweather and Pacquiao are now considered old men in the sport, there's no denying they both provided fans with countless indelible memories that will ring until the end of time. Let's compare the two once more. Mayweather grew up in a low-income household in Michigan. He was taught to box primarily by his father, Floyd Sr., and later on his uncle, Roger, both former professional fighters. 
Born into a family of boxers, boxing has been a part of Mayweather's life since he was a child. As an amateur, Mayweather earned the moniker Pretty Boy because he rarely got hit and had no scars or bruises to show for his time in the ring. He ended up winning the National Golden Gloves across multiple years and even bagged a bronze medal at the 1996 Olympic Games. With both his father and uncle guiding his career, needless to say, Mayweather was well enamored in terms of developing his skills in the ring. The Mayweathers developed a unique defensively anchored fighting style that prioritized skill and technique over power and aggressiveness. Pacquiao, on the other hand, lived a dramatically different life, one that was steeped in extreme poverty. He was born and raised in southern Philippines, an area notoriously rife with political extremists and rebels. Daily life for Pacquiao early on was a fight for survival. Pacquiao was introduced to boxing by his maternal uncle, Sardo Mejia. He later claimed that watching the Mike Tyson vs. Buster Douglas fight on VHS as a young boy would change his life forever. Inspired by what he saw, Pacquiao began training with makeshift equipment, hitting bags filled with sand in his uncle's yard with a single boxing glove. He would compete in unregulated backyard brawls for as little as $2 a fight, just so he could bring back some money to his mother. Following a very limited amateur stint, Pacquiao turned professional at age 16. He was so skinny and scrawny that he infamously snuck rocks into his pockets during weigh-ins just so he could meet the minimum light flight weight limit of 106 pounds. Throughout his career, Pacquiao built a reputation as a finisher. He destroyed legends like Marco Antonio Barrera, Oscar De La Hoya, Shane Mosley, and Miguel Cotto. He mowed down opponents like they were grass and made it look easy. Because of his exciting boxing style, Pacquiao became a box office attraction. He sold out entire arenas with people craving to see him in action. Mayweather, conversely, commanded a different type of attention with his extremely technical and defensive style of fighting. Throughout his career, fans witnessed Mayweather pick apart powerful opponents like a bomb expert defusing explosives. He was, quite frankly, untouchable. Among his biggest victims include Canelo Alvarez, Miguel Cotto, Arturo Gatti, and Ricky Haddon. Despite their differences, however, there is no disputing the fact that people came to see them perform, and they always delivered. Pacquiao, for the most part, chose his foes based on who his promoter, Bob Arum, wanted him to fight. Pacquiao was, albeit, far more susceptible to defeat than Mayweather was. Mayweather ended his career undefeated at 50 and 0. This is my last fight tonight, ladies and gentlemen. My last fight. While Pacquiao, who still competes to this day, has seven losses on his record overall, including a devastating one punch knockout he suffered against bitter rival Juan Manuel Marquez in 2012. Mayweather often fought opposition who posed no serious threats. He was heavily criticized for avoiding fights with Antonio Margarito and young, hungry welterweights like Keith Thurman. I'm looking forward to destroying Floyd Money Mayweather. When has Floyd knocked anybody out in the past several years? He somehow managed to avoid facing Pacquiao for three years until the Filipino exhibited a sharp decline in speed and volume punching. 
Pacquiao, although also picking his opposition carefully, chose older veterans with big names such as Shane Mosley, Lucas Matisse, and Adrian Broner. However, his willingness to face the greatest Mexican fighters in their primes, including Barrera, Marquez, and Eric Morales, on multiple occasions really did well for his overall reputation. All things considered, both men rose to the occasion when the situation called for it. When it comes to awards and accolades, Mayweather and Pacquiao each took home the lion's share in different periods. Mayweather won world titles across five weight divisions, from super featherweight, 130 pounds, to light middleweight, 145 pounds. While Pacquiao became the only boxer in history to win world titles across eight weight divisions, from flyweight, 112 pounds, to light middleweight, 154 pounds. Mayweather bagged the 2010 to 2019 BWAA Fighter of the Decade Award, while Pacquiao took the 2000 to 2009 version. In terms of monetary achievement, Mayweather has a significant edge. Forbes listed Pacquiao at 8th among the 2019 highest paid athletes with over $435 million earned between 2010 and 2019. While Mayweather came in at the number one spot with $915 million, nearly doubling Pacquiao's revenue. The list of accolades goes on and on for both of them. While the two have garnered similar honors and awards, a distinct advantage for Mayweather in this area, however, was him being able to win an Olympic medal for the United States. Last but not least, we can compare Mayweather and Pacquiao in terms of how the fans received them. Who was loved more by fans? Again, the two took very different approaches. Mayweather played the role of the villain for most of his career, often trash-talking his opponents, flaunting his wealth in public, and offering fans an inside look at his lavish lifestyle on social media. Throughout his career, Mayweather was confident no one could beat him, and he made sure to strike that narrative every chance he could get. Pacquiao, in comparison, was more a man of the people. He would reportedly use his fight earnings to help the impoverished in the Philippines, particularly his hometown of General Santos City. Pacquiao would hand out wads of cash to the needy who lined up miles outside of his home on a daily basis. Fans loved Mayweather for his technical skills and for the fact that he was virtually unbeatable in his prime. He represented the American pride quite well also before he took on his heel persona. Pacquiao was loved for his willingness to go to war with any man, oftentimes guys who were much bigger than he was. Both men were crossover megastars and cultural icons whose influence went far beyond the boxing ring. Who had the better career? Was it Floyd Mayweather Jr. or Manny Pacquiao? Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for the latest on boxing.